core, the Restoration Fitness 90 Day Healthy Habits Challenge. We're starting a series this week about the core. What is the core? I mean, we know we should work our abdominal muscles because of course everybody kind of wants to have that six pack. But to be honest with you, working the muscles of your abdominal area isn't going to necessarily give you what you think might be a six pack if you're not doing the right things nutritionally. So I highly recommend you adhere to these healthy habits if you really want to try to get that type of physique. But essentially, having a strong core is beneficial for many other reasons, most of which is to help protect our spine and give us great posture so that we can have a long life with great health into our later years. But also beyond that, having a strong core gives us the ability to do all of our activities of daily living with greater strength. When we're able to stabilize from our torso, everything else basically is going to move more efficiently. So we're going to talk today about exercises that include anti-rotation and stabilizing tight movements. The very first of which, which we'll focus on today, is the front plank. So the front plank, in its most traditional sense, is done. The easiest maneuver is to go from your elbows and your knees. In this position, we're going to set our shoulders back just slightly to make sure we're stable through the shoulder joint. Then we're going to pull the belly button to the spine, making sure that our, our basically that our muscles of our core are kind of bracing against our guts, thinking about being really tight, in addition to actually pulling up from the pelvic floor, the muscle that basically, if you're thinking about stopping the flow of urine, that's the muscle that squeezes. And in this position too, we should have our tail tucked under just slightly to make sure that we have a neutral spine. If this starts to feel easy over a period of time, you're going to take it up to your toes. In this position, we're basically, again, trying to keep all of those things in tension and not try to extend too much from the spine or tense too high. So we're going to keep ourselves really tight in one position. As you get better at this, you might find that you're able to accept new challenges without having movement through the spine. So if we were to take it up a notch, we're going to maybe perhaps try to lift one leg and again try to keep everything really still through the torso. Or we could try lifting arm and leg or just the arm. Perhaps we could come up to the hands, which would be even a little bit more of a challenge for the upper body and the shoulders. And we might try to keep a neutral spine while we shift our weight forward with one knee at a time, or even take it to where we do a little bit of twisting through the torso, where we might do a twist through the hips, but essentially in this position, my core stays the same. I hope that gives you a few more suggestions for how to challenge your core, and I'll see you again tomorrow for the next level of anti-rotation activities. Thanks, have a good day.